Hey guys, Debbie, also known as Swag Maven here. Oh, those are my hands, and my dog is going to growl a little because my voice is waking him up because he's a little brat. Anyway, I thought I would show you some of the books that I have that I use for references. Um, there's a site called thriftbooks.com. I'll put the um, link in the description below where you can get books for as little as three dollars and they're all used books and if you buy if you spend ten dollars you'll get free shipping so and they have a lot of other jewelry books so that's really great for references I've got this first one here called how to be a jewelry detective antique detectives present how to be a jewelry detective Elementary Clues to Solving the Mysteries of Jewelry <laughs> Jewelry by C. Janine Bell, the jewelry detective. And these ha this has really pretty colorful pictures. Yep, he's growling. Um The bibliography, so we're at the back of the, the book. But here it shows Bog Oak. Bog Oak is yet another black material. By the time you must be thinking, by this time you must be thinking there are too many pieces of black jewelry. It is not that black. It's not that black is in the majority, but that they can be confusing. Bog oak is exactly what it sounds like. It's oak wood that's been preserved in the bogs of Ireland. Oh, no. I dropped you guys. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Preserved in the bogs of Ireland. Jewelry was made from it, and the pieces were popular, especially with tourists. The fact that bog oak pieces have Irish motifs makes it visually identifiable even though it is sometimes mistaken for other black materials. Well that's neat. And that's an Irish harp. That's really neat. I did not know this. I bought this book and I put it aside and really haven't gotten a chance to look through it. Here is some um, of the facets, the names, Princess Cat, this cut was developed in 1960s, 